Okay, honestly, before we start this video, I really just want to say this is why I cannot have friends. Let's hop into it. Hey, what's up? It's Rachel, aka Some Shadow, aka Nobody Calls Me That, so you can call me Rachel. So, I know March, I said it was going to be about me, but, you know, something just popped up and it's irking me all up in my spirit, so I decided to get dressed this morning. I decided to put my hair up and look presentable in front of this camera here and I decided to do my eyebrows so people would not joke me as bad as I already know they will so with that being so let's just hop into this video because I'm getting real worked up all up in my spirit let's go I want to talk to you about Kaylani Kaylani Baylani as some people may know um she's a good person she really is <laughs> and all the rumors and all the hate that she's getting I find utterly completely disgusting um people recently found out about her because of who she was dating which is Kyrie Irving honestly I do not know a lot about Kyrie Irving because I do not watch basketball and I'm pretty sure he's like a basketball player or something a lot of other people know her because um of Party Next Door which is like a singer or something and I don't listen to him so I don't know much about him either but I do know a good portion about Kaylani. I know that recently it is assumed or alleged or whatever that she is back with Party Next Door. People assumed that she cheated on Kyrie Irving with Party Next Door. I don't understand why it matters to you. I don't know why it affects your life so much to the point where you would send her hate. I don't understand why people are all up in her business when if the slightest thing happens to them in their social or personal life, they'd be ready to fight or throw hands. I believe that so many people are just invested in celebrities or people who are well known because they got so much going on in their life it makes them happy to see other people be miserable and other people stoop low the thing is Kaylani has friends she's beautiful she's smart she can dance and she has amazing talent but when you receive so much negativity to the point where you can't see the positivity around you it's definitely going to make you feel some type of way. And I feel so horrible. And some of this stuff wasn't even directed towards me and I feel bad. So I cannot even imagine how she's feeling. I just want to say that it's wrong for you to slut shame her the way you slut shame her. It's wrong. People don't even know the situation. People weren't around. You were not in her relationship. So how would you know? Please let me know. How would you know since you weren't there? You ain't never been there. You ain't never been in the bed with him when they was cuddling up. Um, when they was talking about their favorite TV shows, TV shows when they was eating cereal. Um, when he said, "Hey, can you pass me the milk and the eggs?" You don't know what was going on. So how do you know that she cheated on him? How do you know this? How do you know that? Oh wait, that's low. <laughs> wait a second, you don't. But. You do like to assume, you do like to spread hate, you do like to spread disgusting words. Hmm. 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 But if anything were to happen to you, you'd be like, mm, get out of my business. Mm, this is none of your business. Mm, no. Mm, bye. Mm, bye, Felicia. Mm, no. But you can be all up in her business. You could tell her to kill herself. You could tell her, oh, she's disgusting. Oh, you know, she's a cheater. Da, 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 da. But you don't know the situation. How are you going to solve the equation when you even got all the variables? That's what I wanted to say. Another thing that I wanted to say is I feel so bad because people are reducing her worth. Kaylani is only 20, I believe. I know she dropped Cloud 19 when she um, was 19. Um, her first mixtape. She went on tour with G-Eazy. How do I know that? Because I went to the G-Eazy these these things have in concert and she performed that was my first time seeing her and obviously just by the way she performed you could tell that she loved what she did um and she had fun through her song she shares her experiences and she had never asked for pity from nobody that is what i wanted to say on that um yes she did try to commit suicide and people are still laughing people are still calling her names people are still being rude messy and inconsiderate I know for a fact that some people will never understand those things until it personally happens to them or someone they truly care about. And then after that happens, 
they won't find it funny anymore. And it's sad that it um, takes people that long or for that to happen. But, you know, everyone's not the same. Everyone's not going to see suicide for what it really is, a dark, depressing um, thing that shouldn't happen, but it does. Some of the people um, say, you know, oh, well, she tweeted hospital pictures, so she's definitely asking for attention. People don't deal with everything the same. She shares her stories and, you know, what she's been through through her music. So obviously, A, people are going to find out eventually, and B, she'd probably rather tell you herself. I don't understand the point in that. Yeah, she's definitely asking for attention, da 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 Let's see some of these tweets. B tried to kill herself because she got caught and exposed. No other reason. Only women would do something bad and try and turn themselves into the victim. This happens all the time. I really want to like attach people's like names to this, but I'm not. I'm not. Because I'm a better person. Okay. But um. It's just, it's just so, it's just so sad. Why did she even survive? Kaylani tried to kill herself because people called her a hoe. Truth hurts. Hoes get caught every day, B. Gotta take the good with the bad. You see where I'm getting, like, frustrated? So many people have an opinion on her and they, A, they don't know her. People get mad when... People try to get in a timeline or anything like that. So, all the people coming at her, congratulations. Um, because, I mean, you also helped bring her to this level. Um, um, it's honestly, that's enough. I don't even want to read anymore because it's so sad and it's so depressing. Oh, why do girls always want to play the victim? Oh, da da da. But when boys do it, they dapped up. They're congratulated. Oh, what? When rappers and singers talk about how many girls they got in every state, every city, every location, everybody like, hey, hey, oh, oh. But because she was brave and she went back to the person she loved, she's a hoe. She's a slut. I don't get it. All I gotta say is to the people spreading hate and to the people doing, being disrespectful and to the people saying, why does she survive? Honestly, A, I'm gonna pray for you off the back. B, be quick to listen and slow to take action that's what i say because words do hurt words do have effects words do have meaning and they might not mean anything to you but directing them towards someone else you don't know what effect that'll have on someone else so if you continue to do what you're doing i mean god's gonna handle that i can't do anything about that i just want to let you know a i'm gonna pray for you and b you need to listen and you need to wait and you need to be patient before you start taking actions before you start directing your hate towards someone who doesn't even deserve it that's all i want to say yeah i just want to say this is why i cannot stand people because a you think suicide is funny you think girls are always playing the victim um oh yeah girls only want to get out of it so they commit suicide suicide is not funny i cannot stand people like i really can't people who argue in instagram comments all day about people they don't even know people who they don't even genuinely care about but it's enough gossip and it's hot Top, it's such a hot topic that you just gotta be involved. It's disgusting and I don't even know how many times I said the word disgusting in this video But it is di disgusting and Kehlani, Kehlani, I'm praying for you. I like Kehlani. I genuinely like her as a person She is inspiring to so many young girls and to see her be at this level I'm praying for her. I really am and I'm praying for anybody who has spread any type of hate towards her I really am because a it's wrong and B it should not be happening regardless period so i want to say some shout out i love change the world and i'm praying for taylor